Audio Sync Garmin shot. Sunset sitting on the rim of the Grand Canyon at Hopi Point. Audio Sync. So what we're gonna do is try to measure how high can we go and still stay plugged in. You know what? Give me your give me your belt there, Forrest. When I first saw 360 video 13 years ago, I knew the first place I wanted to take it was in, down into the Grand Canyon. I took the Google Street View camera out to the Grand Canyon Skywalks opening media day and was standing there on that Grand Canyon Skywalk as a new development thing and you knew that the place for 360 video was down in the bottom. It took a lot of years before I could take a 360 video camera down there. Seven years, in fact where the technology caught up to that ambition and we had compact enough cameras to survive the trip, allow us to capture the experience in 360 video and for eventually for virtual reality. And that's where I learned is that we passed the bend around the corner here, that there was a plan to build this traumatic tram gondola thing down here. And we realized that we wanted to do more than just show people the whitewater rapids of the Grand Canyon, but make a virtual reality documentary. I'm about ready to go on a nine day river rafting trip through the Grand Canyon to shoot a documentary. So camera wise, I'm gonna be bringing a Freedom 360 Explorer, uh, which is a slightly larger housing that supports the underwater housings for each individual GoPro. I'm bringing six remotes with me, 60 GoPro Hero 4 batteries, more than 50 Hero 3 batteries. All told, I've probably got close to about three terabytes of data that I can record. I hope I don't record that much because it'll take forever to process. We decided to call it as it is after the great Teddy Roosevelt quote. Grand Canyon Escalade proposal to the Navajo Nation was to build a tram from one of those peaks up there all the way down to the river level to a boardwalk past an amphitheater and then to a restaurant somewhere near where we're standing right here that would have brought 10,000 people per day down here So I'm working on collecting some interview selects to put in our documentary and this is a scene with uh, Marie and Ernest Pekatewa who are grazing permit holders in the land slated for development. It was really important for us to meet them and to hear their stories. In virtual reality, an interview is so incredibly powerful. And so we want all of our viewers to have that opportunity to stand face to face with the people who would be most impacted by this development. <laughs> Thank you so much. We came back down to visit with the Navajo Nation and attend a special session of the Navajo Council in their chambers in Window Rock, Arizona. It was quite an honor because we watched as the delegates of the Navajo Nation uh, voted down the Escalade project 16 to 2. So here we are at the Grand Canyon. We're going to go to the rim. 
and Rachel's going to see the Grand Canyon for the first time. So, since she's editing our documentary, we figured she ought to see the Grand Canyon. I'm very excited. When I saw the Grand Canyon, I was really amazed. Uh, it took my breath away. It was a beautiful scene, and I just felt more than ever, we need to protect this place, and we should value its natural beauty and not try to change it. Sixty Labs collaborated with the Echo Lab to create music inspired by the musicians' experiences inside of a VR headset watching our footage. I'm um, here in Denton, Texas at the Echo Lab. Pretty great spot. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. I had showed Texas musician Scott Dambaum our first 360 Grand Canyon footage and told him about our goals for this project. When the time came, he gathered guitarist Brian Van Diver and producer Justin Collins, who volunteered their time and talents. These attacks are happening on our public lands. People are standing up, but very few people are aware. People first time. think of the Grand Canyon as like, we've got that locked, it's protected, right? Mm -hmm. It's never gonna happen, but they don't realize that there is this sort of other possibility, um, and it really would change everything forever. We are heading down for um, some confluence shots that we weren't able to get in 2014 or 2015 to show the confluence where the proposed Grand Canyon Escalade project was. We're almost out of light, uh, but less than 100 feet down and 1,000 feet in front of us. Is, are the blue waters of the Little Colorado River. Bye-bye, backpack. We arrived in camp just as night fell, barely enough time to set up camp. We ate dinner and went to bed. We woke up this morning and we started backpacking six miles down the Little Colorado River. We are at the confluence, the Little Colorado River joining the main stem Colorado River. So this place is sacred to a number of people, to the Navajo, to the Hopi, but to all Americans as well. I can't wait to come back here with my grown two daughters and still have this place look just like this. I hope that this project will be um, something that helps people go to the Grand Canyon who have never been there before, something that makes people care about our national parks and the importance of uh, the wonderful natural places that we have here in the United States that we often take for granted. And I think that VR can help people to realize that when we actually take them there. I'm, oh, Krista, don't look down. Don't look down. So you just oh, no. use a 360 camera like you have, put it up, and it takes all angles. And then you can go back and see it. That was amazing. That was so cool. That is fantastic. Welcome back to the Grand Canyon. I mean, that, was, that ledge was right there. No, imagine. And he doesn't like heights. So. It's a good thing you have me over here. Yeah, I don't like heights.